This is a ways down. Okay, here we go. Don't try this at home. Tensile strength! I mean it. I'm not kidding about this. Hey, all right. Where are you guys? We're over here on the box, Bill. Hey, everybody! Thanks for hanging around with me today. Structures are fascinating, aren't they? You'll excuse me. I got some springiness, some tension and compression to investigate. Hope I see you hanging around. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. <laughs> you gotta understand how much I love this ant bit. I love the ant bit. Galileo, you know, was the first guy to think of a long story. Ready? I'd love to tell you about Galileo, but I'd rather get this bit shot. Insects and spiders are usually small. Why don't we see big ones, you know, as big as people, cars, or houses? Well, take a look at this. It's our fine, upstanding model ant of science. See, thin ant legs are ideally suited structures for supporting an ant's lightweight body. But what if we made them bigger? Well, as they get bigger, they get heavier. Now, their legs get bigger, too, but not fast enough to support the ant's weight. That's why we never see giant horror movie-sized ants. They can't exist. They wouldn't have a leg to stand on. Ha! <laughs>